you. As I had started this program, as a woman in peace in the district, I wanted accountability for government programs. Government is doing a lot of things. Unfortunately, the common man does not know what government is doing. So I decided after the, the introduction of PDM, I decided to take this opportunity to make sure that even a yoga, water, power, health, roads, all should be accounted for. As they account for PDM, they should also account for uh, the roads. What is government doing every year? What is government budget for every sub county? So I move to every sub county with my colleagues and the district leadership. And we task the district leadership to account on what they are doing for the common person, what government is doing. So right now we are left with only four. Because I have 15 sub counties, I have already done 11. I'm now left with the four because every month I do this activity and I make sure that people count. And also, uh, I would say for Kadung, Greater Kadungulu, which includes Kadungulu sub county, Kadungulu town council, Kagwara town council. These three sub counties, one thing I've noted particularly they have two problems. One, some of them have still bigger uh, villages and parishes, those traditional parishes. For example, the sub-county has two traditional uh, parishes that cannot be able to get PDM as uh, fast as the cells. The town councils are smaller because they have cells that are very, very small. So you find that a, a ward gets money and they have started even repeating. While the sub-county is suffering because some parishes are like it, sub-counties. So that's the biggest problem I've seen here. The majority of people have not got money because they have bigger uh, parishes. Then the second thing, which is the biggest problem here, this is 70% a fishing community. For them, their biggest problem is the issue of the lake. As you had them bring out air out their problems, what is paining a person in Greater Kadungulu is the issue of chasing them away from the lake. They feel as a poor person, this was their garden, they didn't have land, some of them have no land, very few people have got land. So they feel they can't afford boats, they can't afford engines, they can't afford nets. So there are challenges, they are asking me, as a minister in charge of fishing, what are you going to do with us? And of course you heard me telling them, government has been having challenges since COVID came and other uh, interferences. But government will, will the time sort out. They raise the issue of uh, the facility handling, uh, fish handling facility, which has stayed for years after 1.5 billion was spent and they did not complete. Now the building has gone down. So they are asking me as a minister in charge of fishing, when will this facility be brought? So as a minister, I'm going to sit with my technical team and of course uh, look forward in presenting all these issues to the president. The issue of the leg needs bigger dialogue and it needs all the stakeholders because you find that the local person, the fisherman, wants to fish in any way they wish. Picking immature fish without them being considerate that tomorrow they still need the same leg. So they, they feel they should be given to do what they want in the leg. Then also, as government, surely these are local people who cannot be able to afford. So as government, we have to plan and see that we put these people in groups so that in those groups they are able 
to buy nets, they are able to buy engines, they are able to buy boats, and in their group, like one circle group that the president appreciated, the Mioga group, they are doing well, but that is just one group. But the majority uh, here are, are fishing uh, uh, people or community. So as government, we are going to see that we allocate money when we get uh, to look at particularly the fishermen because the fish brings a lot of money second in to coffee and yet we are not allocating some good money to it so it's a challenge that I found here they have raised the issues of uh, presidential pledge of the road of course I want I have already told them the president and the minister of works has already considered this road from Kumi to Kagwara and from Serere to Soroti, from Serere to, to uh, Mugarama. So I am sure in the next few years we shall be able to see Tamu. And that will improve the, 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 the fish trade. Because this is where we are, is the center of fish in, in this district. It's one of the biggest landing sites in Kagwara. It's well known in Lake Yoga. It's one of the, the, the good landing sites. So to me, I feel what I have done with the district is the right thing. Reaching the community, hearing what their challenges are, and addressing them. And I am sure by the time we finish this, when we begin again another year, people would have already got to know what government is being, and they will know that they have a right for water, they have a right for medical services, they have a right for all this. But also, another challenge is of course power. Most of these areas, the health centers don't have power, the schools don't have power. So the issue of power is also another thing that is a challenge here. So, but overall, in every community you can't finish. There's no government that can finish all people's problem, problems. But I am happy we have come down than leaving people without any, any listening ear. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 
Kesi, Opoisa Kesi, Idumuteso, Aqua Dark, 